episodes. The title of the episode, The Chu Sing Ling Caper, may seem strange at first, but this was the script for the episode that eventually became Terror Island. The script has lots of pencil changes in the margin. But boy, I never thought these things could go so fast. Yippee! But I can only assume belong to Joe Barbera. I think it's getting hazy again. No! The finished episode and the teleplay had interesting differences. For instance, the actual episode, where a giant crab wreaks havoc, was not in the script anyway. Another change was a character named Captain Spaulding, who in the finished episode was gone altogether. No, Haji, that's just what we can't do. Read this. Do not call police or Dr. Quest die. What can we do then? And his lines divided up between race and Haji. Doug describes the writing for Quest now as top-notch, some of the best ever, if not the best still, for TV animation. To give an example, my favorite episode of Johnny Quest, Monster in the Monastery. A storm drives the legendary Yeti down from the high Himalayas into an old abandoned palace. There's the old palace of Kali Yuga. But the visiting quests are reluctant to believe that these legendary creatures are anything more than local superstition. This is a pleasant surprise, Dr. Quest, but you have come at a difficult time. The Yeti have invaded the old palace. That night, when Johnny and Haji chase Bandit into the old palace, the boys discover that the Yeti are not only fake, He's better looking with a head on. But the imposters are actually political enemies of the Raj Guru, there to stage a terrorist coup. On the balcony! Get them! <laughs> After a third act of Cat and Mouse, from spaceship number three. I hope you boys have a good excuse. Well, uh, I'll try to think of one, Dad. There are enough Yeti outfits and supplies here to equip a small army. Well, Dr. Quest, would you and Raj Guru step out here on the balcony? Trouble race? Uh, no, sir, not now. But someone's been playing pretty rough. Looks like they've all been wiped out by some tremendous force. A terrible justice has been done here. I wonder by whom. Dad! Hey, Dad! Look! Tracks! And they lead up the hill. There's something up on that ridge. What is it, Johnny? I don't know. Would you call that, Dr. Quest? I see it, but I hardly dare believe it. You can believe it, Dr. Quest. The Yeti have taken vengeance into their own hands. <laughs> Making this the most atypical, eerie, and unsettling ending of all the Quest episodes. Because the DVD release decided to slap the same and wrong end title on almost every Quest episode, I feel it's only right to take 30 seconds to see who really wrote and directed these shows.